which is a series of videos we are bringing to you from Carmarthen Castle Museum and Art Gallery. And luckily, we decided we're all alone, obviously, because we're closed to the public currently. But yeah, what, what we thought would be fun was is if we show you parts of the collection, but not only that, we show you how they connect to one another. Because you find yourself often walking around museums and art galleries, I'm sure if you're anything like me, and sometimes you're not too sure how certain objects go together or why they're even in this particular museum in general. But trust me when I say that most museums and art galleries across the board don't display stuff on a whim. There is a reason and a purpose, and that's what these videos are going to be all about, is showing you the connections between all the collection objects, how they connect to the museum, local heritage, and to each other. So we thought we'd start with the collection connections between the various pieces of art in the Yellow Gallery of Cavata Castle Museum. Because when you walk through this gallery, you might not realise how deep and how important the connections between all the artwork on the walls in this room actually are. So I'm going to talk to you about that for a bit. Many of you may know of the artist Cedric Morris. He painted these two pictures of Douglas during the 1930s when he came to Merthyr Tindall. And he came to Merthyr Tindall for a very important reason. Like many artists and many people visiting Douglas at this time, they were coming to try and help people out of the vast depression that was spreading across Merthyr. Unemployment was over 50% and even as high as 60 at certain points during the late 20s and 30s. And so when Cedric Morris came to Douglas, it wasn't by chance that he was visiting Douglas, he was coming to try and help. He visited Gwenfine House in Douglas, which was owned at that point by a lady called Mary Horsford. He started an art workshop in December 1939, and it was as simple as it could possibly be. He would start for a few hours, he got cheap colours from Woolworths some paper and simple brushes, and he would show people by demonstrating his craft. So he would be sketching and doing oil paintings like this, outside and inside, all over a period of a couple of months in Dallas. But he wouldn't just come here once for a few weeks, he would keep coming back and forth to Merthyr and paint many images of Douglas and many images of industrial Merthyr in really. it. And these two paintings were given by Cedric Morris to Gwenfine House. Because what Gwenfine House did is they set up a small art gallery to display the artwork and the, all the objects that were created by the creative industries started up in Douglas. There was a thing called an educational settlement, which was a movement started by the Quakers and it started in Dowlas in 1928. And the whole art movement and educational settlement in Dowlas came from that, from that want to try and educate the Dutch and free their minds from all the drudgery of the day-to-day -day life up in Dowlas at that point. And so he left the artwork at Gwenfine House in the gallery that they had set up in the house to dis and to hopefully inspire people. But not only that, he left another piece of work. This piece of work, which I'll show you now. This is Floriat. Now, Cedric Morris was also a master plantsman. On his gravestone, it actually says plantsman and artist, okay? And he was exceptionally talented at painting and depicting floral paintings like you see here. But the size and scale of this are astounding. Massive, impressive, the brush strokes and the amount of time and effort spent on this painting is astounding and it is beautiful in every way. And this is the third Cedric Morris painting that was actually on display in Gwent's Lighthouse in Dowlas. This was left behind to try and inspire people in Dowlas and the surrounding areas to take up art or even just for them to look at briefly to take them out of that drudgery of day-to-day -day life. Not only that though, Cedric Morris was an integral part of Merthyr Tidville and he helped set up the first art society in Merthyr and he helped bring an artist in residence to Merthyr as well. And that artist in residence also had a massive impact and inspiration and he painted the painting that I'm going to show to you now in the Yellow Garden. This is the impressively large canvas that was created by the artist Heinz Koppel a German Expressionist artist who fled his homeland and came to live in Britain. He was known by many artists in Britain and he was earmarked to come and to Merthyr to be our artist in residence. 
He was known to Cedric Morris and other people connected with the art movements and the educational settlements. And he was brought to Merthyr in the, the mid-1940s. And there he would remain as an artist in residence, mainly in Douglas, doing art workshops for adults, for children, for everyone. And then there are many, many people in the town who remember fondly going to have art lessons and tutorials with Heinz Koppel. An astounding artist. He also inspired the artist I'm going to show to you next. This is an image of Merthyr's old iron bridge painted by John Asl Edwards. Now, John Asl Edwards wasn't born in Merthyr Tidville, but when, as a young man, he was starting to show real skill as an artist, his father brought him to learn more about art. And obviously, where would you go to learn more about art in the 40s? You would go to Dallas and you would study under Heinz Korpel. So John as Ledwood would spend time working underneath and learning techniques from Heinz Korpel up in Dallas. And he's one of the many, many artists who would be inspired by the work going on in Dallas and it would send him on a path. Not only him though, there was another very key artist to Wales who was inspired. And I'll show you his work now. Above is a construction on a wood panel that's called the Pembrokeshire Panel and it's created by the artist Arthur Giadelli. Now, Arthur Giadelli is again another connected piece. All of the pieces so far have been connected through that Douglas artist movement and Arthur Giadelli is no exception to that whatsoever. He came to Merthyr during the 1940s because the school he was working at at the time was evacuated to the town. When evacuated, they came, to, they brought to school and all the teachers and everything. But Arthur Giadelli was sacked and dismissed because he was a conscientious objector. So he started taking work up at the educational settlement in Dallas under John Denethon and other, other people up there. Gradually being exposed to all the creativity and artistry that was going on up there, he turned from music, which was what he was doing at the time, a music teacher, and started delving into the world of art. Beneath his work is painted by Esther Granger, and Esther Granger is even connected by all this. Esther was controlling a lot of the, a lot of the activities going on in the Pont de Prix educational settlement, but she was still integral to what was going on in Merthyr as well, she still had influence. In fact, it was her that introduced Cedric Morris to Heinz Korpel and then brought Heinz Korpel to Merthyr. And the painting that she's got on display here is actually a Breton End, Cedric Morris's house. But our work doesn't end there. There is still even more connections in this gallery. And one last one that I want to show you now. This is a bronze bust of Cedric Morris. Stunningly crafted piece of work. It is an amazing accomplishment. Even more amazing though, when you think that this is connected, not just because Cedric Morris is the subject matter, but the person that sculpted it was living and working in Dowlas and at the Dowlas Educational Settlements. His, his name was Tom Davis and he lived up in Dowlas and he worked as an arts and craft teacher in the Educational Settlement. An exceptionally skilled sculptor, he would be one of the, one of the many people who worked in Dowlas and who lived there and who would take inspiration and then create pieces like this. So that brings us to the end of the collection connections in this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed looking a bit more in depth at the artwork on display in our Yellow Gallery in Martha. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe.